Hi. First off, disclaimer, what I'm sharing with you today are my experiences and my opinions and don't represent any sort of policy from any federal agency. <laughs> I've been working at a research facility since 1981. Uh, they do cancer research and the project I'm going to talk about today is called MBS. It's short for Multi-Species Behavioral System. It's been collecting data since 1992 on a daily basis. These are behavioral tests and here's some of the hardware changes that we've seen over the past 23 years. So change is going to happen. Oh, you're just going to have to deal with it. Oh, okay, now I'm talking faster than my slides. That hardware is connected to panels like this one with retractable levers, lights, press plates where symbols are displayed. And this little girl is learning a lever sequence. She might uh, also be playing another task where you hold a lever down between 10 and 14 seconds or in the case of a motivation task where she has to press the lever four times, she gets a skillet, presses it six times, gets another skillet, and then at the point where she gets tired of it all, the neuroscientist goes, aha, there's the, there's the moment. Um, it's a multi-species system. They were using rats. Instead of earning skillets like the little girl, this rat's earning little food pellets. Uh, we used to tease that this wasn't rocket science, but it turns out the holding a lever down between 10 and 14 seconds was important to NASA, and they wanted to know how antihistamines would affect an astronaut when they needed to do some manual burn rate. So we took med students, spun them in a three-axis chair, sat them in front of our panel, and let them try to guess a 10 to 14 second window. Uh, working with scientists has always been interesting, but they come from neuroscience or genetic toxicology, and we come from the IT department, and so there's this disconnect, different ways of communicating. So back in 86, we discovered if we just built some simple prototypes, then that would give us something common for both groups to talk about. Then they would see that uh, what we were trying to build, and then we would also find out feedback from them what they were really asking for. Um, throughout the last 23 years, we've seen quite a few changes, but we've discovered if you loosely couple your subsystems, then change is not so painful. Uh, the things underlined in red are vendor-specific things that we married ourselves to in the project, only to have those ripped away, and divorce is painful. Uh, change is going to happen. How are you configuring your system to handle change over decades? Are you going to keep it isolated, or is it going to rock your entire project and set it upside down? Initially, we were, because we didn't know any better, we were using the waterfall method. But from the scientist's point of view, the people that were asking us for this stuff, it was this big mystery. They understood the prototype, but they didn't understand how we get there. And so they were constantly asking us, well, why does this take so long? And so we adopted the Agile process. Now we're involving the scientists with us, and when we do something difficult, marvelous, uh, they actually appreciate it instead of just asking, well, why did it take so long? So here's a, a slide I grabbed off of a great Agile YouTube training video, and the stakeholders are up at the top, so those are our scientists. They're creating these one-sentence stories that we turn around and break into tasks, and then on a two- to four-week basis, we're rolling out a new prototype. Now they're involved in the process and also helping us with the priorities and the things that um, oh, need to shape where we're headed because we don't want to build something they don't want to use. Uh, we use, um, this is actually a, a GitHub open source project called Scrumbler, which is a, a virtual whiteboard that's running in HTML5. It sits on top of Node and we're using Node for the actual project we're developing. Debian for the package management on the Linux layer, and then Express and Jade for the uh, model view and control, and then we're using Mocha for our testing. Um, on the project management side, we're using Reveal.js for the slideshow, uh, GIMP to create the slides. All this is open source. Scrumbler, which I mentioned earlier, is a GitHub project. The only thing that's not open source is the sublime text. So anyway, there's more details about how we're using these tools. It's stream of info slash ignite for more details. Thank you.